Life Hacks You'll Thank Me For, part 22. If you're in a pinch and you need to replace your AA battery, but all you have is a AAA battery, don't worry, all you need is some foil. Just roll up some tin foil and put it where the battery's negative terminal connects, and as long as you have enough to fill in the gap, your device should still turn on. If you want a way to keep your spinach fresher for longer, here's what you do. After you clean your spinach, store it in a Ziploc bag or better yet a container and be sure to place a paper towel in there with it. The paper towel will absorb the moisture and keep your spinach fresher for longer. Did you know that on your ceiling fan there's a switch to reverse the direction of the airflow for the different seasons? During the summer, make sure the switch is flipped so that your ceiling fan is going in a counterclockwise direction so the airflow is pushing down. And in the winter, switch it to clockwise so that it gently draws the room air up towards the ceiling fan and forces the warm air down and out towards the walls. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life Hacks You'll Thank Me For, Part 21. If you want to keep your tomatoes fresher longer, store them stem side down while they finish ripening. You can always place a piece of tape over where the stem was instead of placing it stem side down. If you're prone to getting headaches and migraines, try eating about 10 to 15 almonds a day. The magnesium found in almonds may ward off head pain by relaxing blood vessels. When pouring liquid from a carton such as non-dairy milks or broths, most people tend to pour from the spout side that's closest to the cup. The milk typically glugs and splashes into the cup. When you switch to the opposite side, a small hole in the spout lets air flow in and out so the pressure remains neutral and you get a much more even flow. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 20. If you want to protect your phone chargers from constantly ending up frayed, just use a spring from an old click pen. Wrap it around the end and now your cord is more protected yet still flexible. If you're measuring out honey and you want to prevent it from sticking to the spoon, just spray the spoon first with some cooking spray and it literally glides right off the spoon. If you're tired of getting your sleeves wet every time you wash your face, try using a pair of wrist sweatbands. They catch all the water that drips down and your sleeves stay dry. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 19. Need an easy way to reseal a plastic bag? All you do is cut off the top part of a water bottle, then just fold down the sides around the opening, and then screw the bottle lid securely. Also makes it super easy to pour out what's inside. Need help finding the studs in your wall? When you're using your tape measure, find the diamond markings. The black diamonds represent the middle of the studs, which is great for hanging pictures. Do you have an almost empty jar of peanut butter that you don't want to stick your hand into? Just place your peanut butter on a flat surface and start spinning. The peanut butter will move to the front of the jar. And then when you remove the lid, it almost looks like new. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 18. Okay, so I saw this onion cutting hack on TikTok, so I had to share this with you guys. Apparently, the reason why you cry when you cut onions is because the acid in the onions is attracted to a water source, which typically is your tear ducts. However, if you simply place a damp paper towel on the cutting board while you're chopping, the onion acid will be drawn to the wet paper towel instead of your eyes. So I tried this out because I have really sensitive eyes and sure enough, it worked for me. If you want to check the freshness of your eggs, just drop one in a glass of cold water. If the egg sinks to the bottom of the cup of water and lies flat on its side, then it's fresh. If it floats to the surface, then it's no longer fresh enough to eat. If you want to dry your sneakers in your dryer without having them clang all over the place, here's what you do. Just put your sneakers in a pillowcase and hang it over your dryer door with the opening of the pillowcase outside of the dryer. Then just close the door and turn it on and you'll hear nothing while they're drying. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 17. If you have a cut where you have to put a band-aid around your finger joint, there's a better way to do it. Just make a cut down the middle of the bandage on each side. Then just wrap the flap separately around your finger, avoiding the joint so you can still move your finger. If you have one of these candles with three wicks, but you're tired of almost burning yourself, every time you try and go to light it with a match or a lighter, then try this. Just light the first wick and then turn the candle so that the flame reaches the other wicks and lights them for you. If you want a quick and easy way to get the shells off your hard-boiled eggs, just put them in a jar and shake. The shells peel right off, leaving you with the perfect hard-boiled egg. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 16. An easy way to tell if your batteries are dead or not is by dropping them on a table. When you drop a discharged battery, you're going to see a lot more bounce. And a fully charged battery will land with a thud with almost little to no bounce at all. The trick to reheating your leftovers more evenly is simply by leaving a hole in the middle making your food form a ring. This prevents you from having to stop and start your microwave to stir your food. If you're getting down to the bottom of your mascara and it's starting to dry out, simply put a few drops of contact lens solution and shake it up to re-moisten any mascara that's dried out on the inside. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 15. Here's a simple way to clean your ceiling fan without getting all that dust on everything beneath it. All you do is take a pillowcase and slide it all the way over the blade of your fan. Then just press down on both sides and slide it all the way off and all that dust is captured right inside your pillowcase instead of all over your bed. If you have kale that's gone wilty and limp, here's a trick to revive it. First, fill up a bowl with cold water and ice cubes. Then stir in about a tablespoon of salt. Then you're going to submerge your kale for about 30 minutes. And then when it's done, you can throw it in a salad spinner to remove all the excess liquid. Here's a super simple way to store your green onions so they last for months. Simply chop up your green onions into small pieces and then put them in a clear plastic water bottle. Then just throw the water bottle in your freezer and you can take it out as you need it. This not only cuts down on prep work, but they last for months. And don't forget to hit that plus sign for more life hacks. 
Life Hacks You'll Thank Me For, Part 14. Did you know that all bills roughly measure around 6 inches? The next time you're out and about and you need to measure something, but you don't have a tape measure or a ruler, just pull out some cash. If you want to avoid getting those little dimples in the shoulders of your sweaters when you hang it on a hanger, try this instead. Fold your sweater in half lengthwise, then place the top of your hanger in the armpit of the sweater, and then fold over the sleeve and the body across the hanger. It should look like this, and then no more dimples. Did you ever get home from the store and you realize the security tag is still on your shirt? This shirt I actually ordered online, and it was shipped to me with the security tag still on it. I promise I have the receipt, I didn't steal it. But I found this hack where I heard you can take a lighter or a match to the tip of the security tag to see if you can pop it off. So I gave it a try. I had no idea if there's ink in this thing, if I'm gonna burn my shirt, or if this is even gonna work at all. Come back tomorrow if you wanna find out what happens. Life hacks you'll thank me for part 13. Okay, for those of you with kids, I don't know about you, but I tend to find stickers all over our furniture. And they're always so tricky to get off. All you need to do is run a hairdryer over the spot for a little bit, and then it softens the glue right up and you can scrape it right off. Okay, instead of just continuously rolling up your cuff starting at the bottom, take your sleeve and pull it up from the bottom so that it sits just under your elbow and then just fold the sleeve once right over on top of that and you're done. For me, I feel like my sleeve stays rolled all day and it's not as tight on my arm. A quick way to get wrinkles out of your laundry, just throw a few ice cubes in your dryer and as the ice melts, the water turns into steam and it removes the wrinkles. Just be aware this trick is meant for lighter fabrics. Life Hacks You'll Thank Me For, part 12. If you want to squeeze some lemon juice on top of your food but don't want to get the seeds all over your entree, here's what you do. First, roll your lemon on a countertop or a cutting board, then take a skewer or a toothpick and poke a hole in the end of the lemon. Then squeeze out the juice to your heart's content and store the lemon in a Ziploc bag in the refrigerator until you want to use it again. If you want an easy way to dust your blinds, just take a pair of kitchen tongs and wrap around each end a dish rag or a washcloth and secure with some hair ties, and there you have it. If you're wondering which side of the car your gas tank is on, just look at the arrow next to your gas gauge indicator. Whichever side it's pointing to is the side of the car it's on. This is especially helpful if you're renting a car. Like and follow for more life hacks. Life Hacks You'll Thank Me For, Part 11. Did you know that the lines on a solo cup can actually act as measurement marks for alcohol measurements? This line right here is equivalent to a pint of beer. The next line down is 12 ounces, which is a standard beer bottle size. This line is 5 ounces, which is approximately one serving of wine. And this one is one fluid ounce, which equals a shot. If you need to freeze ice cubes in a pinch, use hot water instead of cold water. It actually freezes faster. This is actually called the Mpemba effect. If you crack an egg and accidentally get shell in your bowl, the fastest way to remove your shell is actually using the remaining piece of your eggshell to get the smaller piece out. The sharp edge of the shell is able to cut through the whites as opposed to using your fingers, which just slide the shell around. Like and follow for more life hacks.